Welcome back fellow pilots. Here we are today learning how to do short field and soft field takeoffs in the Cessna 172. I'm here in upstate New York at November Kilo 71, Marcellus. And you'll notice I left the yoke on today to show you how when you're taxiing on a soft field like this you want to have the weight off of the nose wheel to protect it. It's one of the more delicate parts of the airplane. The mains are very strong but the nose wheel not so much. Today's takeoff uses 10 degrees. I found this information in the pilot's operating handbook for the Cessna 172 SP and I'm going to keep the nose rolling so it doesn't get caught in any divots. Let's make our radio call. Marcellus traffic, Skyhawk 71, correction, Skyhawk X-ray, Golf Sierra, departing runway 33, left close traffic. All right, so full power comes in. I'm checking my instruments. I got 2300, keeping that nose wheel off. And then my big airspeed here is going to be 56 knots with flaps degrees at 10, 56 knots. I'm going to basically try to get the wheels off, hover this plane in ground effect until I get that 56 knots. Hovering, here's 55, 56, climb out at 56. Look how high up that nose is and look how close those trees are. This is a maximum performance maneuver. I've done this air, uh, this takeoff in real life, and it looks almost exactly like what it looks like in the sim. I'm really impressed. Okay, we're clear of all the obstacles, clear of all the trees. I can drop the nose down a little bit and slowly start to raise those flaps as the plane accelerates to 80 knots. Check for traffic out there around us. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, one of our viewers mentioned a second ago that I didn't say how much bank you should be using when you're in the traffic pattern. There's two answers to that. I'll show you in just a moment here. I'd like all my students to keep their banks in the traffic pattern a little less than 30 degrees. And so a target around 20 degrees bank. That'll be nice and smooth for you and your passengers. You can tell how much bank you're doing as I roll left here. That's 10 degrees right there. That's 20 degrees, and any more than that starts to become a little uncomfortable for your passengers. So let's target 20 degrees in our bank. You can also use an instrument here called your turn and bank coordinator, your turn and bank indicator rather. Uh, that'll help you do various rates, but that's used more in instrument flying than it is in VFR flying like this. Alright, coming up on pattern altitude, time to throttle back to 2100 RPM for our downwind. You don't change the traffic pattern much for a short field takeoff. Marcellus traffic. This is Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra downwind runway 33. Marcellus. All right, target of 90 knots and about 1,700 feet. As you start to go to airports that are unimproved or just grass strips, you really need to keep your wits about you with where that airport actually is. Are you looking at a field? Are you looking at the airport? Yes, you can use the GPS to help you, but it's always good. You should always be able to point to where that airport might be located. Aha, uh -huh, I think I see it over there. I think I do. I'm trying to keep my own situational awareness going. That's one of the most important parts of flying is knowing where you are. Oh, I was wrong. That's the airport down there. Knowing where you are in relation to the airport, knowing where you are in relation to other airplanes. All right, here we are on downwind now. The approach speed that I'm going to try to use here is 61 knots. That's what the uh, pilot's operating handbook says for a short field approach. That's going to be with flaps full down and our power will be at idle. It's going to be a pretty steep approach, but the idea is that you want to land at the slowest possible airspeed and transition quickly to put the weight of the airplane from the wings onto the wheels. I'm even going to raise my flaps and I'm going to do what they call aerodynamic braking. I'm going to pull the yoke full back into my chest in an attempt to create as much drag as possible and slow this plane down on the runway. Okay, here we come. Left base, runway 33. Slowing back to 15. 80 knots is my target. I'm going to fly this part pretty much like a regular traffic pattern. There's the high school. Marcellus traffic, Skyhawk X-ray Golf Sierra. Left base, 33. Full stop, Marcellus. Let's see, I'm getting a little bit of turbulence looking for my runway. I think it's covered up by the strut there. There we go. Alright, I'm going to come in a little higher than normal, dropping 20 degrees flaps, 
You can see I'm down to 20 now. Airspeed target is going to be 61 knots, so I'm going to basically keep it at idle. Trimming nose up a little more than I normally would. And now let's put in those full flaps. There's 61. I've trimmed the plane for 61, so basically my right hand is doing very little here. Let's make our video call. Marcellus Traffic, Skyhawk X-Ray Gulf Sierra. Short final runway 3-3, full stop Marcellus. If I'm a little low, I'll add a little power, but I think this is going to be just right. I want to touch down right at those numbers to get the maximum performance. 61 knots, looking good. I'm at full idle now. A little bit of rotate. And wheels are down, flaps are up now, and look at this, I'm going to do aerodynamic braking. And that's how I'm going to really slow down and stop. Okay, let's get this plane off the runway. Takes a lot of power to get moving on the grass. Taxi with the nose wheel up to protect it. And we'll taxi over to parking. Okay, that's how you do short field and soft field operations. I hope these videos are helpful to you, everyone, especially as you transition from flight simming to real life. Fly safely, everyone. See you next time.